Alright everybody, this is Evil Genius 4545 back with more Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. In the last episode we finished up uh I think we finished up both bubble loop swamp and free as he peaked. And then we came up here and got this jiggy by using the flight pad out there. And now we're actually gonna figure out where the way out of this place is and we're gonna use this flight pad again, because I think there is actually a reason to use it. Oh, there's the way out. Okay. Let's turn around, not get hit by that guy. Fly in the... We'll get in there. It'll work. I know I can do this. I believe in myself. As long as that guy doesn't hit me. As long as we... Okay. There we I... go. Don't glitch into the ceiling. Don't take that gold feather either. It's a... It's a trap. They just want to trick you into wasting your time to get that. But alright. Now that we're out here, I'm pretty sure you can do this if you just... poke your eyes out. Okay, no, I think I was wrong. Um, then we're gonna ignore that, and we're gonna go back, and we're gonna do Gobi's Valley. And I'm just gonna say right now, I'm not a humongous fan of Gobi's Valley. There's a lot of those time puzzles where you gotta be real quick about something, and... Well, we, <laughs> we've all seen how great I am at that. But hopefully I can take this chance to redeem myself, and prove that I'm not absolutely terrible at this game take hits like that but yeah Bruntilda's back there I remember that before because I walked in here and I heard her music playing I was a little bit confused but yeah she's back there and you might have seen it before if you look right behind us there's a stupid Jinjo back here just kinda sitting in the middle of all the quicksand you really don't want to touch that stuff either it's a one hit kill it just sucks you right in but this guy right here of course, he's really thirsty. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm completely wrong about this. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be a joke there. He's like, I'm really thirsty, I could use some water. And Banjo's like, will eggs and feathers help? Because, you know, we always like go and shoot eggs at people and it just magically works. It's like, yeah, we pass our best note score of, like, one note. We're so special. I guess I'll start with this thing. Might as well start somewhere. So yep, more of this climbing on things where if we fall off, we get completely destroyed. So hopefully I won't fall off. I mean, there's no ice physics in this one, so I won't really slide all over the place like I did before. Hey, no, none of that. I don't want to fly yet, though. I think there might be something up here. At least I hope there is. Or else I'm wasting my time. Oh, well, we can come out here on his nose. Cool. And grab this. And then jump out here onto the cactus. By doze is all blocked. I think he's trying to say his nose is all blocked up. Not gold feathers. But of course, there's a way to make the camera go behind you, isn't there? There we go. Uh, turn up. Wait, no, it worked before. It should work this time. But yeah, nope. No, I don't know. But yes, of course, his nose is clogged up, so what do you do? You eventually shoot eggs in it. Oh, 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 right. You only had to shoot one. But yes, you shoot eggs in his nose. Like that. And then, of course, he'll sneeze, because everybody knows the Sphinx is actually alive and can blink and stuff. But you do that, and it magically opens a door in his crotch. And then we'll run inside it, of course. Logic. And inside, this this part's actually not bad. Don't want to miss these notes. Pretty sure I've missed those notes before. And you run around everywhere looking for notes, and they're actually right in here. I don't know if there's any in the... What's the camera doing? Oh, oh hi, how are you doing? We'll take that guy out in a second. There might actually be a point to it. Come here, man. Come on. Hit me. Nope. Alright. That's actually kind of graphic. You can see, like, blood, or, like, his, his flesh and everything. That's, that's a little graphic for this game. I don't think they'd do that. Either way, we're gonna come back over here, and, of course, any kind of desert, Egyptian-ish level wouldn't be complete without magic flying carpets and dogs that like eggs. But, yep. 
Oh, uh, you probably heard that Jinjo. Not gonna pull a bubble loop swamp. I will remember to actually go back and get that, but I'm gonna do this first. Because this can be a little bit of a pain. You gotta shoot the eggs in, and then jump. Can I make this? Yep, you gotta jump. Actually, I guess this isn't as bad as I remember. Maybe I used to be pretty terrible. I didn't even get that in, but okay. But yep, here's our first Jiggy for the level. And then, of course, I will actually go back and get that Jinjo. It's right down there somewhere. I think we can just... Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Yeah. But he's right there. So we'll feed you seconds. Not miss. Give you seconds and you will magically lift up the carpet. Which will allow us to get our second Jinjo. And now we're actually done in the Sphinx. There's nothing else to do in there. But we will have to go back on top of it again. I'm gonna do my best not to die on this level because I really don't want to have to do more editing and go back and get all the notes that I missed and stuff. It's a pen. Humongous pen. Okay, camera. Now we're gonna actually fly. And we gotta fly through these rings. And of course this guy, every time you go through the ring, he will move to a different location. And if we summon... oh. I didn't think he'd move right in front of us. That's nice of him. Make it easy for us. But if we go through all of those, I actually don't remember what he said. But something will happen. Obviously something nice. Wouldn't be very nice if they didn't do something nice. I believe he was over here. I don't ever remember him actually being just kind of out in the middle of the quicksand. But I guess he is. Oh, I didn't think he blinked either. Alright. That one's actually kind of a pain to get. You didn't see it before, but if you hit those cactuses, it actually hurts you. But, that should be okay. I think we can do it. Or, I can. Talk like there's more than one person playing. I swear I'm not insane. There's only one of me. Oh. Well, I guess we don't even need to fly through the cactuses, let's cheat it. <laughs> too easy, too easy. Man, I'm good. Maybe I will be able to redeem myself in this level. I don't know, it could all change with just one thing. Oop. And that appears to be- What? Uh, I don't know what he told us, but apparently he lied to us, and he's just giving us a jiggy. Thankfully, it didn't slide all the way off the back. That would have been terrible. But now we'll come up here, grab this jiggy. We won't have to get those guys anymore if we do die. And then we're going to jump back on the flight pad again, because there's this thing up here. You might have seen it. The obvious target that's just screaming, hit me with your beak. They even throw a bird on it. So, of course, we're gonna hit it with our beat. Now we're gonna... We're gonna go down. Hopefully in time. Oh good, we can grab onto it. That was easy. Now what the heck is in here? Oh. Oh, this one's actually not bad. You just gotta sit here and... Oop. If you miss, you can always just grab it back again. Cause I mean, he's obviously look. Oh, we got that one. Hello! Ruby. Isn't that kind of a girl's name? Pipe Boy? Oh yeah. There is a... Jiggy up there. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try doing it like this. I'm just gonna sit here. There's one. Man, I'm good. I'm good at this. Eh, not anymore. Alright, let's just wait here. Try to time it right. That should be good. Yep. One more, maybe. Ah, oh, a little too early. Oh, yep. You're welcome, man. Hissed up. Hissed up. And yep. That's pretty interesting. That's a really strong snake, I gotta say. Yep. That'll be our third jiggy for the level. I gotta say, this level's going pretty good so far. Just climb down him. You don't actually have to stand on top of him, I don't think you can actually climb 
up the snake instead of just sitting on top, but I figured I'd save myself the time. Those are actually some mean notes right there, they're just kind of hidden in the back. Along with these, the camera doesn't really want you to be able to see them. But, I'm gonna do one last look through, I think I got everything in here. Yep. Alright, let's get out of here. Done with that one. Oh, we're actually out of time, guys. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Later.